Hi there, this is Christine from Dragonfly Cards and today I'm going to do a quick tutorial um, demonstration on um, working with digital art in your cards. Um, this has come about from people asking on a Facebook group, um, Clean and Simple, um, so I thought I would give it a go. Please bear with me, be kind um, and uh, let's hope we achieve what I'm setting out to do. So I have gone on to PNG Wing which is one of many many um, websites where you can um, obtain digital artwork from. Um, I'm going to caveat this, this by saying that not all artwork you can do what you want with. So um, if you're going to make cards and you're going to sell them then you need a commercial license and this one, these on here are all for personal use so you can only really use them for cards that you're going to make to give away rather than cards that you're going to sell. Okay, so I quite like this image here which is quite pretty. It's not the one we're going to use but it's just to show you how to download them. So I'm going to click on the image. You can see here as I've just mentioned that the license is for non-commercial use. Um, be careful on websites when you're downloading artwork because there's lots that always have lots of um, like things that say download so you have to be really mindful of what you're actually downloading because that isn't the image thing. So I know that you've got to scroll down and this is the PNG image that we want to download. Click on it. Because I've downloaded some items from this before it actually knows where um, I want them saved. Possibly you might think about making a folder like I have called digital images um, or usually if you don't stipulate where it's going to go it will usually pop into your downloads folder here. But there's nothing worse than having an image thinking that you've got it and then when it comes to import it into your piece of software um, you can't find it. I've already saved this image so I'm not going to save it again but the one that we're actually going to use in the card is going to be this flowers in a rusty jug. So let me just close that down. And that. So I'm going to use Word to place my um, layout of my card. Now I don't normally use Word because I have a program called um, Craft Artist Professional which is made by Serif but they don't make it anymore and it was really for um, like digital scrapbookers um, and things like that but it's a really good um, a really good piece of software for card makers as well um, so if you ever see anybody selling one on eBay or somewhere else then you know I would highly recommend that you grab it it's a really good um, piece of software Anyway, so as I say, we're going to use um, a Word document to start off with and um, I've opened a one up. It's mine set at A4 um, and I've set it at landscape. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw um, some boxes, which is going to be replicate my card, which the finished card I want to make is round about six inches by um, six inches. But just so we can get the placement, um, then I'm going to insert some shapes. I'm going to go to the oblong. I'm going to hold down the shift key and I'm going to drag it out which is going to give me a square. Now I know that for this I need that to be 14.8 squared. So it's 14.8 high and 14.8 wide. It's probably an easy way of doing it but um, there we go. Um, I don't want it to be filled so I'm going to take out the filling so I just have the um, the outline. I put that down in the bottom line at the bottom right hand corner. So that's going to be basically the front of my card. If you just want to test that you've got halfway, if you just go control copy control V it'll duplicate it and there we go. Perfect. If you want to put something, if you're going to put an image on the, the back, if you want to print you know, on the back of your card, then obviously you can um, typeset it in, in that box there. And then we've got this spare bit that we're going to cut off, um, which I'm going to use for the overlay image. 
but let's first of all let's get the digital art into our um, document so you would go to insert and then pictures it's on this device and then you would navigate your way to where you have saved your digital art which is digital image and as I say the demonstration for the card I'm going to use this rusty jug now in Word you have to um, in fact I can't move that it just stays where I put it okay so you get this little um, like layout options and I usually do the behind text you click on that close that down and then I can move um, it wherever I want on um, the document so I also want to make it a bit smaller um, so you just hold down your shift key keeps the um, aspect ratio right so it's gonna um, not squidge in and have a long skinny one it's, it's going to keep the right proportions so when you've got the size that you want and the position that you want you can just drop it wherever you could do control copy V so I've got repeated and maybe you might think oh yeah well it'd be very nice to have you know the same image but just a tiny one on the back maybe in the middle of your card if you want to place something in the middle of that box so you know it's going to be the center of your um, card you just click on it click on your box and then go to align and then you would align center and a line middle and that's now put that in the middle of um, the back of my card now I don't want it to print these lines so I'm going to take that one off for now because we've got the back of our card here and I'm just going to play with this one now I need another image to overlay over it so I'm going to go again um, control C control V and we've got a duplicate and I'm going to utilize this piece of card that I'm going to cut off waste not want not I'm going to rotate it so I can fit it in here and then there we go okay so the other thing we need is a bit of text maybe um, so to insert um, text where you want it you need to go to in word you need to go into insert and text box and draw a text box draw your text box where you think that you uh, might be going to place your um, sentiment um, we don't again we don't want the box around it so you uh, are going to format the shape and you're going to put no fill and then oh sorry that's rubbish we're going to say Let me do this a different way. Sorry, bear with me. As I say, I don't use Word for this um, normally. So, outline, we want to get rid of the outline. So, no outline. And then we've lost the box, but it's still there and we can still um, type in this. So, whatever it is that you're going to write, let's write happy. Mother's Day to my wonderful mom. Okay, now I'll probably do that on two lines if I was going to do it. Highlight it all, decide what font you want to use select the font I am going to use um, Darrell Allura which I do like um, click on there it's a bit small can't read it so I'm going to increase it you can either increase it by um, changing the figure here or I just click the very large here till I get the size that I want if it goes out of your box you just drag your box and make it a bit bigger um, 
and there you go this is just I uh, would not be printing this but this is just to show you how to um, how I lay it out and as I say we don't want these lines printed so before you go to print you would delete that file print um, and that's the uh, layout document that you're going to have um, there um, I'm going to pause this now I'm going to run into my craft room and I will get the printed image that we're going to actually work on and construct our card from Okay, so we have um, imported our image, we've laid it out the way we want it, and um, we've printed it off. So here we go. So first of all, we need our guillotine. And we're going to cut this at just under 15 centimetres, which is just a little bit over six and a quarter, six and three quarters, sorry, inches. you've got your um, little strip that we're going to cut our shape out of but first off let's just um, score our card in half I use the um, Crafters Companion um, top score multi board um, only because it saves me working out because it does have half fold A4 which is what we need for this sorry for the banging and clattering Score, fold it half, put it up against the edge, and burnish it down. Okay. So there we have our base image. So the next thing is we need to decide where and what we're going to cut out. So I'm going to use this um, stitch heart die. Um, it's made by, sorry for the shadow by the way, um, it's Card Deco Essential Stitch Heart and it comes for sizes but this is the size that we're going to use. Um, so with this die, if you wanted to cut an aperture in the card, then basically what you're going to get is you're going to get this outside stitched edge and this bit's going to cut out and you're going to end up with a little heart like that and this is what we're going to cut out the centre heart is what we're going to cut out of this image here so decide where you want it I'm going to have hmm, quite a bit of the flowers in I think and then stitch it down just flip it over because this is slightly smaller you just want to make sure that the inner bit is not protruding from there oh. my little mini Gemini very well used folder whack it in Look. Okay. Here we go. I'm really sorry about the shadow. Um, it'll get better as we go along. This is my first um, tutorial for a very, very long time. Okay, so 
you need to match this up as best you can with the original drawing. You've got lots of um, reference points that you can use around the top, around the side, the edges of the jug. Um, I'm going to lift that up with some tip, 3D form tip. Or you could use um, like 3D silicone glue, um, whatever your preferred method is. And a bit at the bottom. Okay. Get the backing off. Hit this bit. It's a good job I've got long nails. Okay, and I'm just going to put a bit of glue on the foam pad just so it doesn't stick before I'm ready for it to. Uh, Sticks, so I don't have to try and peel it off and maybe rip my card. Okay, okay so here we go, let's just match it up. Take your time with this bit, as you can see I am. Hold your breath, do what you need to do. And then once you're happy, then stick it down. Okay, so for this one, what I did was I took some um, glossy, uh, glossy accents. There's a variety of other things. I think Crafters Companion do one as well, but this is the one that I use. Hopefully this is gonna... <coughs> No, it's not. Okay. Okay, I think I'm just going to cut the top off. Okay. Put a little bit in a container. Put the top back on so it doesn't dry out. Get a little brush. I'm just going to paint this on to the um, jug, I don't know whether you can see this, but um, this one has a slight gloss to it. Yeah, maybe there. Okay, I'm just paint this on. Goes on a bit milky. If you go over the edges, push it back in. Jingle jangle in my bracelet, and uh, I mean, this is an old rusty um, jug, so it doesn't have to be absolutely glass perfect. Um, but I just want to give it a bit of point of difference from the base card. You can do this with you know, whatever you want, really. Um, there we go, make sure you wash your brush, otherwise you'll be peeling the, um, pulling the hairs out of the thing. Okay, so the final thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put some plain white, this is simply white, um, Nouveau Drops, I use this all the time. Um, paper just to make sure that it's not going to come 
whizzing out. Okay. And then just um, go for it. Just where you want. Big, small, bigger. There you go. Maybe a couple on this side. But just gives it just again, it gives it a little bit of more um, dimension. There we go. And then just leave it to dry and et voila. Card. This is the one that I made before. And um, this is one that was shown on um, Clean and Simple Facebook page. So thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope to see you again soon and um, take care. Bye.